Want to learn your target language for free? Then get our language gifts of the month right now, before they expire. Here's what you're getting this month. First, the Making Movies Conversation Cheat Sheet. With this new cheat sheet, you'll learn words like actor, screenwriter, director, and much more. Download it for free on the inside. Second, the 400 Everyday Phrases for Beginners ebook. This bonus ebook will teach you over 400 words and phrases related to daily activities like waking up, making breakfast, going to work or school, and more. Third, can you talk about fishing in your target language? Learn how to say words like fishing rod, bait, and fishing net with this quick vocab bonus. Fourth, must know online shopping vocabulary. If you like shopping, then you'll want to be able to talk about it in your target language. With this one minute lesson, you'll learn must know words like sale, add to cart, and much more. Fifth, free language learning audiobooks for anyone who sees this video. If you watch this far, then here's a free bonus. We're giving all of our users free access to our huge library of language learning audiobooks. Save them to your device and listen and learn. They're yours to keep forever. And finally, the deal of the month. If you want to finally master the language with lessons by real teachers and our complete language learning program, get 51% off all basic, premium, and premium plus plans with our special Black Friday deal. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the lesson description below. Download them right now before they expire. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Mi nombre es Romina. Soy tu profesora de español de hoy. Um, hi, everybody. How are you today? This is Romina, and I'm your Spanish teacher for today. So in today's lesson, I'm going to give you memory tips um, to make it easy for you to memorize the numbers in Spanish from 0 to 100. Besides uh, helping you to memorize numbers up until 100, I'm also going to give you tips um, to um, on how to memorize or how to say correctly the years in Spanish, okay? That the, the most basic years. So from zero to 15, unfortunately, we have no other option but to memorize the numbers by heart, okay? Vamos a practicar la pronunciación. Por favor, repite después de mí. So let's practice pronunciation. Please repeat after me. Cero. Uno. Dos. Tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once, doce, trece, catorce, quince. But the only memory tip, it's a small memory tip that I can give you, it's uh, the fact that the numbers from 11 to 15 end in C, in the sound C. So C E. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, continuamos. Okay, let's move on. From the numbers from 16 to 19, um, where what we are basically doing in Spanish, we're saying 10 and the, the number afterwards. So it will be in this example, 16 in Spanish is 10 and 6, okay? Um, the, the thing is that, as you can see on screen, is that um, 10 and 6 are three words, but we say them fast and we fuse these three words into one, okay? And as you can see on screen, Z becomes C and Y becomes I. Vamos a practicar la pronunciación. Let's practice the pronunciation. Por favor, repite. Please repeat. Dieciséis. Diecisiete. Dieciocho. Diecinueve. So the same thing happens when we go to count numbers from 21 to 29, okay? We are literally saying in Spanish 20 and the, 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 name, the number afterwards, 20 and 1, 20 and 2, 20 and 3, etc. One thing to keep in mind is the pronunciation of the number 20 in Spanish against the rest of the numbers of, uh, um, with 20, so 21, 22, 23. 
20 in Spanish has its ending in E, 20, 20. But the rest of the numbers do it in I, okay? 20, see? So that's something to keep in mind, okay? Uh, vamos a practicar la pronunciación. Let's practice pronunciation. Repite. 20. 21. 22. 23. 24. 25. 26. 27. 28. 29. Again, in this example, um, with these numbers, you can see that um, the three words 20 and 1 are fused into one word. Okay, we say that very quickly. And then the vowel E and the consonant Y uh, can kind of fuse together into I. Okay, so here you can already see that it's very important to know by heart the numbers from 1 to 9 because we're actually using them all the time. I believe that from this point onwards, numbers in Spanish becomes, um, it, it gets easier to memorize the numbers in Spanish. Numbers get easier from this point onwards because we are using the exact same structure I was mentioning before about 20 and 1, 20 and 2, um, etc. But um, this time we are not fusing or changing the words in any way. We have three words and that's the structure, that's the way we write it, okay? So 31 in Spanish is 30 and 1, 30 y 1, 32 it's 30 y 2, 30 and 2 and etc. Okay, and the same thing happens with the rest of the number. So 40, it's um, 41, sorry, it's 40 and 1, 42, 40 and 2, 40 y 1, 40 y 2, etc. So it's bastante fácil. So it's fairly simple, we, we can say. Bien, let's practice the, the tens or the decimals, no? Eh, repite, por favor, please repeat. Treinta. Cuarenta. Cincuenta. Sesenta. 70, 80, 90. To make um, memorizing easier, uh, you're going to notice that these numbers end in NTA. Okay, they all end uh, on the same three letters NTA. So that ta sound, no? 30, 40. 50. Another thing to keep in mind is the difference between 60 and 70. It's quite common to get these two mixed up. Um, so just uh, bear in mind, 60 is cc, 60, and 70 is 70, 70. A lot of students also get confused with the pronunciation of 90 in Spanish. Um, they will say nueventa, like um, they're trying to uh, put the pronunciation of number 9 into 90. Nueventa, y, and unfortunately that's incorrect, okay? You have to say o, oh, no venta. Okay, continuamos, continuamos. So I want to give you a memory tip for, for the number five, and it's um, the numbers related to number five. So we are talking about five, 50, 15, and 500. Okay, I know we haven't seen the hundreds in here, um, but I thought I should include it here um, so you have, it, you have everything in one place. Um, so 5 and 50 share the same uh, st uh, stem or, or root <laughs> and then 15 and 500 also share the, the stem or, or the root, okay? So we have 5, 5, 50, so 5, 50, 5, 50, but then 15, 
500, ¿ok? Vamos, repite por favor. 5, 50, 5, 50, 15, 500, 15, 500. So the idea of this diagram is just to help you memorize in these numbers, just so you don't get confused. We reach to number 100. Um, unfortunately, I have no tips to give you for 100, okay? So you just have to memorize it by heart. Uh, but, you know, it's fairly easy. It's, o it's only, how many, four letters? Por favor, repite, 100. 100. Muy bien, perfect. Okay, so now um, we're going to quickly um, eh, go through how to pronounce the years in Spanish, but obviously I'm not going to teach you how to uh, say every single year <laughs> from zero to, you know, <laughs> uh, the infinity, the infinite, because uh, it, it will be end up being a very long video. But I'm going to teach you the two most important years, um, especially for beginners, okay? So that is, is saying 19, uh, 1910, 1970, 1930, or 2010, 2020, etc. Um, this is because obviously these are the years that you're going to be using more often uh, in the beginning of your Spanish journey. Um, okay, so here on the, on the Liddy box at, at the top of your screen, we have two examples. We have 1970 and 2010. Okay, let's pronounce 1970 in, in Spanish. Vamos a pronunciar en español. 1970. Repite, 1970. So basically what we're saying here in Spanish is a thousand nine hundred seventy. Okay, that, that's what we're saying. Let's continue with 2010. So we're saying in Spanish 2010. That's what we're saying, okay? Repite. Dos mil diez. Dos mil diez. Okay, perfecto. So um, the structure is fairly easy. Um, for uh, 1,900, you just put whatever number follows after that, right? So um, you want to say to the, uh, 1,010, uh, 1910, uh, 1920. So you just say 1,900 plus 10, right? So 1,910. 1920 1930 etc okay and the same thing with 2000 okay just say the number at the end 2010 2020 2030 2040 okay Repite, por favor. 1910. 1920. 1930. 1940. 2010 2020 2030 2040 
Thank you so much for watching um, this lesson. Muchísimas gracias. Y nos vemos en la próxima clase. Thank you so much and I will see you on our next class. Adiós. Restaurante. Restaurant. Restaurante. Restaurante. Restaurant. El restaurante está al lado del parque. The restaurant is next to the park. El restaurante está al lado del parque. Cafetería. Café. Cafetería. Cafetería. Café. ¿Dónde está la cafetería más cercana? Where is the closest café? ¿Dónde está la cafetería más cercana? Tetería. Tea shop. Tetería. Tetería. Tea shop. Ella trabaja en una tetería. She works in a tea shop. Ella trabaja en una tetería. Bar. 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 Ese bar queda lejos. Vamos a otro que queda más cerca. That bar is far away. Let's go to another that's closer. Ese bar queda lejos. Vamos a otro que queda más cerca. Mueble. Furniture. Mueble. Mueble. Furniture. Vamos a cargar los muebles en la camioneta. We'll load the furniture into the truck. Vamos a cargar los muebles en la camioneta. Hierba. Grass. Hierba. Hierba. Grass. Los jabalíes están masticando la hierba. The wild boars are chewing the grass. Los jabalíes están masticando la hierba. Tierra. Soil. Tierra. Tierra. Soil. La tierra se agrietó debido a la sequía. The soil cracked due to the drought. La tierra se agrietó debido a la sequía. Barro. Mad. Barro. Barro. Mad. Cada vez que llueve, mi perro termina cubierto de barro. Every time it rains, my dog ends up covered in mud. Cada vez que llueve, mi perro termina cubierto de barro. Roca. Rock. Roca. Roca. Rock. Los dos cangrejos están caminando sobre una roca. The two crabs are walking on a rock. Los dos cangrejos 
están caminando sobre una roca. Árbol. Tree. Árbol. Árbol. Tree. Vamos a cortar el árbol con el hacha. We are going to cut down the tree with the axe. Vamos a cortar el árbol con el hacha. Taoísmo. Taoism. Taoísmo. 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 El taoísmo también se conoce como daoísmo. Taoism is also known as Taoism. El taoísmo también se conoce como Taoismo. Biblia. Bible. Biblia. Biblia. Bible. Lee la Biblia. He reads the Bible. Lee la Biblia. Corán. 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 El Corán es el libro sagrado de la religión musulmana. The Quran is the holy book of the Muslim religion. El Corán es el libro sagrado de la religión musulmana. Sacerdote. Priest. Sacerdote. Sacerdote. Priest. Recibió consejo de un sacerdote. He got advice from a priest. Recibió consejo de un sacerdote. Judaísmo. Judaism. Judaísmo. Judaísmo. Judaism. El judaísmo ha sido practicado durante más de 3.000 años. Judaism has been practiced for over 3.000 years. El judaísmo ha sido practicado durante más de 3.000 años. Mil. One thousand. Mil. Mil. One thousand. Esta iglesia se construyó hace mil años. This church was built one thousand years ago. Esta iglesia se construyó Hace mil años. Dos mil. Two thousand. Dos mil. Dos mil. Two thousand. Cuesta dos mil dólares. It costs two thousand dollars. Cuesta dos mil dólares. Ocho mil. Eight thousand. Ocho mil. Ocho mil. Eight thousand. Ocho mil personas viven en ese pueblo. Eight thousand people live in that village. Ocho mil personas Viven en ese pueblo. Diez mil. Ten thousand. Diez mil. Diez mil. 
10,000. 10,000 soldados fueron enviados al sitio de batalla. 10,000 soldiers were dispatched to the site of the battle. 10,000 soldados fueron enviados al sitio de batalla. 4,000. 4,000. 4,000. 4,000. 4,000. El estadio es de 4,000 metros cuadrados. The stadium is 4,000 square meters. El estadio es de 4,000 metros cuadrados. Casero. Landlord. Casero. Casero. Landlord. Siempre me escondo de mi casero. I always hide from my landlord. Siempre me escondo de mi casero. Dormitorio. Dormitory. Dormitorio. Dormitorio. Dormitory. Vivo en el dormitorio de mi universidad. I live in my university's dormitory. Vivo en el dormitorio de mi universidad. Bloque de pisos. Apartment building. Bloque de pisos. Bloque de pisos. Apartment building. Hay 24 pisos en este bloque de pisos. There are 24 apartments in this apartment building. Hay 24 pisos en este bloque de pisos. Ciudad. City. Ciudad. Ciudad. City. El aire de la ciudad está contaminado. The city's air is contaminated. El aire de la ciudad está contaminado. Granja. Farm. Granja. Granja. Farm. Las cabras juegan en la granja. The goats are playing on the farm. Las cabras juegan en la granja. Tsunami. 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 Hubo miles de víctimas por el tsunami. The victims of the tsunami were in the thousands. Hubo miles de víctimas por el tsunami. Avalancha. Avalanche. Avalancha. Avalancha. Avalanche. Las avalanchas son impresionantes. Avalanches are impressive. Las avalanchas son impresionantes. Fuego. Fire. Fuego. Fuego. Fire. Si te gusta ver fuego, tienes que ir a las fallas de Valencia. If you like watching fires, you have to go to Valencia's fallas. 
Si te gusta ver fuego, tienes que ir a ver las fallas de Valencia. Terremoto. Earthquake. Terremoto. Terremoto. Earthquake. El terremoto sucedió ayer. The earthquake happened yesterday. El terremoto sucedió ayer. Tormenta de arena. Sandstorm. Tormenta de arena. Tormenta de arena. Sandstorm. La tormenta de arena ha llegado. The sandstorm has touched down. La tormenta de arena ha llegado. Guante. Glove. Guante. Guante. Glove. Perdí mis guantes durante la fiesta. I lost my gloves during the party. Perdí mis guantes durante la fiesta. Paraguas. Umbrella. Paraguas. Paraguas. Umbrella. Uso el paraguas cuando llueve. I use the umbrella when it's raining. Uso el paraguas cuando llueve. Sombrero. Hat. Sombrero. Sombrero. Hat. Es su sombrero favorito. It is his favorite hat. Es su sombrero favorito. De manga larga. Long sleeved. De manga larga. De manga larga. Long sleeved. La versión de manga larga del vestido no es tan popular como la de manga corta. The long sleeved version of the dress is not as popular as the one with short sleeves. La versión de manga larga del vestido no es tan popular como la de manga corta. Manga corta. Short sleeved. Manga corta. Manga corta. Short sleeved. Las camisetas de manga corta son mejores cuando hace calor. Short sleeved shirts are better when it is warm. Las camisetas de manga corta son mejores cuando hace calor. Doloroso. Painful. Doloroso. Doloroso. Painful. Una extracción dental es dolorosa. A dental extraction is painful. Una extracción dental es dolorosa. Tímido. Shy. Tímido. Tímido. Shy. Tu nieto es muy tímido. Your grandson is very shy. Tu nieto es muy tímido. Nervioso. Nervous. Nervioso. 
Nervioso. Nervous. Hablar en público me pone nerviosa. Speaking in public makes me nervous. Hablar en público me pone nerviosa. Entusiasmado. Excited. Entusiasmado. Entusiasmado. Excited. Estamos entusiasmados por lo que nos dices. We are excited about what you tell us. Estamos entusiasmados por lo que nos dices. Avergonzado. Embarrassed. Avergonzado. Avergonzado. Embarrassed. Me pongo rojo cuando estoy avergonzado. My face turns red when I am embarrassed. Me pongo rojo cuando estoy avergonzado. País. Country. País. País. Country. Cada país tiene sus propios modismos. Each country has its own idioms. Cada país tiene sus propios modismos. Aldea. Village. Aldea. Aldea. Village. Mi abuelo vive en una aldea pequeña. My grandfather lives in a small village. Mi abuelo vive en una aldea pequeña. Pueblo. Town. Pueblo. Pueblo. Town. Es una ciudad pequeña, o mejor dicho, es un pueblo grande. It's a small city, or better yet, it's a large town. Es una ciudad pequeña, o mejor dicho, es un pueblo grande. Suburbio. Suburb. Suburbio. Suburbio. Suburb. Me mudé a los suburbios el año pasado. I moved to the suburbs last year. Me mudé a los suburbios el año pasado. Habitación. Room. Habitación. Habitación. Room. Esta habitación está helada. This room is freezing cold. Esta habitación está helada. Quemadura. Burn. Quemadura. Quemadura. Burn. Me duele mucho la quemadura. My burn hurts a lot. Me duele mucho la quemadura. Ajedrez. Chess. Ajedrez. Ajedrez. Chess. El ajedrez es un juego de estrategia y concentración. Chess is a game of strategy and concentration. El ajedrez es un juego de estrategia y concentración. Idioma. 
language. Idioma. Idioma. Language. Hay varios tiempos en el idioma español. There are various tenses in the Spanish language. Hay varios tiempos en el idioma español. Secarse el pelo. Blow dry. Secarse el pelo. Secarse el pelo. Blow dry. Me seco el pelo todas las mañanas. I blow dry my hair every morning. Me seco el pelo todas las mañanas. Artes marciales. Martial arts. Artes marciales. Artes marciales. Martial arts. ¿Te gustan las artes marciales? Do you like martial arts? ¿Te gustan las artes marciales? Satisfecho. Satisfied. Satisfecho. Satisfecho. Satisfied. No está muy satisfecho con la vida que lleva. He's not very satisfied with the life he has. No está muy satisfecho con la vida que lleva. Calmado. Calm. Calmado. Calmado. Calm. Normalmente es muy calmado, pero hoy no. Normally he's very calm, but not today. Normalmente es muy calmado, pero hoy no. Peine. Comb. Peine. Peine. Comb. ¿Me prestas el peine? Can I borrow your comb? ¿Me prestas el peine? Hacer gárgaras. Gargle. Hacer gárgaras. Hacer gárgaras. Gargle. Hago gárgaras varias veces al día. I gargle several times a day. Hago gargaras varias veces al día. Insatisfecho. Dissatisfied. Insatisfecho. Insatisfecho. Dissatisfied. El hombre está insatisfecho con el producto. The man is dissatisfied with the product. El hombre está insatisfecho con el producto. Cinco mil. Five thousand. Cinco mil. Cinco mil. Five thousand. El pueblo tiene cinco mil habitantes. The town has 5,000 residents. El pueblo tiene 5,000 habitantes. 3,000. 3,000. 3,000. 3,000. 3,000. En el Perú existen más de 3,000 tipos de patatas. In Peru, more than 3,000 types of potatoes exist. En el Perú existen más de 3,000 tipos de patatas. 
Seis mil. Six thousand. Seis mil. Seis mil. Six thousand. Hay más de seis mil islas en Grecia. There are around six thousand islands in Greece. Hay más de seis mil islas en Grecia. Siete mil. Seven thousand. Siete mil. Siete mil. Seven thousand. Vendió siete mil álbumes. She sold seven thousand albums. Vendió siete mil álbumes. Nueve mil. Nine thousand. Nueve mil. Nueve mil. Nine thousand. Nueve mil tropas se retiraron del país. Nine thousand troops withdrew from the country. Nueve mil tropas se retiraron del país. Rosa. Rose. Rosa. Rosa. Rose. Me regaló una sola rosa. He gave me a single rose. Me regaló una sola rosa. Flor. Flower. Flor. Flor. Flower. El jardín tiene muchas flores. The garden has a lot of flowers. El jardín tiene muchas flores. Lirio. Lily. Lirio. Lirio. Lily. Es delicada como un lirio. She's as delicate as a lily. Es delicada como un lirio. Girasol. Sunflower. Girasol. Girasol. Sunflower. El campo está lleno de girasoles. The field is full of sunflowers. El campo está lleno de girasoles. Diente de león. Dandelion. Diente de león. Diente de león. Dandelion. Las hojas del diente de león se fueron volando. The dandelion's leaves flew away. Las hojas del diente de león se fueron volando. Viajar. Traveling. Viajar. Viajar. Traveling. Viajar requiere mucha preparación. Traveling requires a lot of preparation. Viajar requiere mucha preparación. Hacer ejercicio. Exercising. Hacer ejercicio. Hacer Ejercicio. Exercising. La mujer está haciendo ejercicio en el suelo. The woman is exercising on the floor. La mujer está haciendo ejercicio en el suelo. Entrenamiento. 
workout, entrenamiento, entrenamiento, workout, un entrenamiento de 30 minutos todos los días te puede mejorar la salud. A 30-minute workout every day can improve your health. Un entrenamiento de 30 minutos todos los días te puede mejorar la salud. Leyendo. Reading. Leyendo. Leyendo. Reading. Acabaré de leer un libro en español leyendo 10 páginas al día. I'll finish reading one Spanish book by reading 10 pages a day. Acabaré de leer un libro en español leyendo 10 Páginas al día. Juego de cartas. Playing cards. Juego de cartas. Juego de cartas. Playing cards. Solemos jugar a las cartas en las noches cálidas de verano. We often play cards on a warm summer evening. Solemos jugar a las cartas en las noches cálidas de verano. Pendiente. Earring. Pendiente. Pendiente. Earring. Ayer, Mónica se compró unos pendientes muy caros. Yesterday, Mónica bought really expensive earrings. Ayer, Mónica se compró unos pendientes muy caros. Collar. Necklace. Collar. Collar. Necklace. Mi marido me regaló un collar muy caro por mi cumpleaños. My husband gave me a very expensive necklace for my birthday. Mi marido me regaló un collar muy caro por mi cumpleaños. Anillo. Ring. Anillo. Anillo. Ring. ¿Qué anillo más bonito? What a beautiful ring. ¿Qué anillo más bonito? Boxer. Boxer shorts. Boxer. Boxer. Boxer shorts. Los boxers son ropa interior masculina. Boxer shorts are an undergarment for men. Los boxers son ropa interior masculina. Falda. Skirt. Falda. Falda. Skirt. Me compré una falda nueva. I bought a new skirt. Me compré una falda nueva. Hamburguesa. Hamburger. Hamburguesa. Hamburguesa. Hamburger. Estamos comiendo hamburguesas. We are eating hamburgers. Estamos comiendo hamburguesas. Hamburguesa con queso. Cheeseburger. Hamburguesa con queso. 
hamburguesa con queso. Cheeseburger. Una hamburguesa con queso es una hamburguesa con una loncha de queso. A cheeseburger is a hamburger with a slice of cheese. Una hamburguesa con queso es una hamburguesa con una loncha de queso. Pizza. 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 La pizza es saludable, ¿no? Pizza is healthy, isn't it? La pizza es saludable, ¿no? Perrito caliente. Hot dog. Perrito caliente. Perrito caliente. Hot dog. Prefiero perritos calientes en una barbacoa. I prefer hot dogs at a barbecue. Prefiero perritos calientes en una barbacoa. Propina. Tip. Propina. Propina. Tip. No te olvides de dejar propina para el camarero o la camarera. Do not forget to leave a tip for the waiter or waitress. No te olvides de dejar propina para el camarero o la camarera. Hey everyone, welcome to the monthly review, the monthly show on language learning, where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is how to boost your motivation and learn more by adding others to the mix. If you're learning a language all by yourself, then you should know that there's a way to boost your chance of success, boost your motivation, your progress. It's simply by including other people in your language learning journey. And in today's episode, you'll discover one, how adding a human dynamic boosts your motivation, and two, how you can apply this tactic to your language learning. But first, here are this month's new lessons and resources. Be sure to download these now before we take them down in a few days. First, the Making Movies Conversation Cheat Sheet. With this new cheat sheet, you'll learn words like actor, screenwriter, director, and much more. Download it for free on the inside. Second, the 400 Everyday Phrases for Beginners ebook. This bonus ebook will teach you over 400 words and phrases related to daily activities like waking up, making breakfast, going to work or school, and more. Third, can you talk about fishing in your target language? Learn how to say words like fishing rod, bait, and fishing net with this quick vocab bonus. Fourth, must know online shopping vocabulary. If you like shopping, then you'll want to be able to talk about it in your target language. With this one minute lesson, you'll learn must know words like sale, add to cart, and much more. To get your free resources, click the link in the description below right now. They're yours to keep forever. Okay, let's jump into today's topic. How to boost your motivation and learn more by adding others to the mix. Part one. How adding a human dynamic boosts your motivation. So first, here's a question for you. How do you think most people start learning a language? Leave a comment. Most people start learning by themselves. They'll either watch YouTube videos like this, download an app, or if they're a little more serious, buy a textbook. But after the first week or month, most self-learners also end up falling off because of a lack of motivation. It's pretty hard to motivate yourself and keep yourself going. It's hard because you have to, one, rely on yourself to motivate yourself, two, do the learning, and three, do the practice. All of this is a lot of work for one person. Sure, there's a small group of super self-motivated people out there that can do it and stick with it, but that's not the case for most of us. 
So then, if you want to boost your motivation and not have to rely on yourself, that's where you should start getting other people involved in your language learning journey. Just picture a graph where on the y-axis you have motivation, and on the x-axis you have the chance of success. So first you have self-study, and that's probably closest to lower motivation and probably a low chance of succeeding. As you move further to the right where you start involving tutors or joining group classes, the higher your motivation and chance of success becomes. Does this mean motivation is lowest when you're on your own? Yes and no. There are people who are very motivated on their own, but motivation tends to come and go for many of us. And the last thing you want to do is rely on a feeling that may not always be there. But when you start including more personal connections, live interactions, maybe someone you speak with at a cafe, you have more reasons and more pressure to keep on going. For example, if you have a tutor that expects you to do homework and come prepared next time, if you have a language partner whom you want to impress, or if you're in a language class, you want to be better than other students. The point is, the more people you involve, the more anchor points and commitments you have to the language, and these boost your motivation. In psychology, this is called social facilitation, or the audience effect. When you're with other people, or when you think someone is watching you, you put a little pressure on yourself. And for many people, this can have a positive result. But if you're on your own, you wouldn't try so hard. So just to recap, a lot of us start learning on our own. And in the case of language learning, there will always be self-study involved. But if you want to take it to the next level, then you should follow that graph. The only issue is, the more you go up that graph, the more expensive it gets. It's very affordable to learn on your own. Once you start involving others, such as a teacher, it starts getting expensive. So it's up to you as the learner here. So, if you're interested in adding a human dynamic, what can you do? Part two, how you can apply this to your language learning. One, give our Premium Plus plan a try and get access to your own teacher. You also get weekly assignments from your teacher, which adds a nice layer of accountability to your learning. Two, enroll in an online class. And this is something we've started offering for a few of our major languages, Japanese, English, Chinese, Italian, Korean, French, and Spanish. Three, get an online or in-person tutor. Now, teachers and classes can be pricey, but there are other ways to learn with others. Four, Get a study buddy or join a learning community. Learning and competing with others will definitely have a positive impact on your motivation and language progress. Five, simply talk with others about your language goals and your current progress. When you're surrounded by people talking about how much they've learned or what goals they hit or missed, you'll be more inspired to hit your own goals. Six, track your progress and share it on your social media for others to see. For example, if you keep a daily planner, write in, I did three lessons today, or spent 30 minutes on learning a language, and share that. Once you start involving more people in your language journey, whether for learning or for practice, adding that extra human element will boost your productivity and motivation and help you reach your language goals. So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time, we'll talk about how to learn a new language in the new year. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way, and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye. Since you're learning the language and coming across new words all the time, do you have trouble remembering new words? If you do, then there's a proven and powerful learning method that'll help you learn new words and phrases fast, easily remember the tough words you struggle with, and get you fluent sooner than later. In fact, all serious language learners use this learning method in one form or another. And the good news is, you can do this all with our flashcards inside of our learning program. But first, if you don't yet have access to our language learning program, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. Now, how do flashcards help you learn words and phrases faster? 
these flashcards use something called spaced repetition learning, which is a science-backed learning method that spaces out your learning over time and quizzes you on words at the right times so that you never forget them. Here's how the flashcards work. Once you start learning, they start tracking your progress and sort your cards for you. So the tough words that you struggle with, you'll see them more often in a study session. And the easy words that you get right, they'll start getting spaced out. You'll see them again in two days, then five days, then 13 days, and so on. At which point, these words will start going into your long-term memory, and you'll never forget them. Once you're done with a study session, that's it for the day. Your flashcards will remind you when to study again, so you never forget what you learned last time. So here's how you take advantage of this powerful study tool. Simply access flashcards in the vocabulary drop-down menu on the site. Inside, you already have the 100 must-know words deck prepared for you. Just click on Study and start session to start learning. You'll see a flashcard with the word in the target language. Do you know the meaning? Click on Show Answer to confirm the meaning. Then, mark it as correct or incorrect. Based on your answer, the flashcards will start sorting and spacing out the words for you. Then, move on to the next card in the deck until you're done with the session. You can study with three modes. Recognition. Get the word in the target language and see if you know the meaning. Production. Get the meaning and see if you know it in the target language. Or listening. Hear the word or phrase and see if you know the meaning. Choose one, two, or all three modes of learning. You can create flashcard decks from key phrases presented in lessons, the 2000 core word list, words saved in your word bank, and our free vocab lists. Want to see how many words and phrases you've mastered? Visit My Stats for your daily, weekly, and monthly progress breakdown to see your personal study stats. So take advantage of the smart flashcards right now. The top 100 must-know words deck is already ready and waiting for you. But if you don't yet have access, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. If you want to learn your target language with our learning program, and if you're wondering which plan to choose, then today you'll discover how our premium plan helps you master the language with one clear learning pathway to follow, which makes sticking with learning easier than ever. Special lessons that get you speaking and understanding conversations in minutes from beginner to advanced and over 15 study tools that will lock the language into your brain. But first, if you don't have access to our language learning program, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. Now, how does the premium plan help you learn a language faster? One, you get one simple learning pathway of lessons to follow. If you've always felt that language learning is overwhelming because there's so much to do, reading, writing, speaking, listening, and vocabulary, and there's no clear path to take, well, you're not wrong. So that's exactly why you get one learning pathway with our program. The learning pathway is simply a pathway of lessons for you to take. Meaning you now have a clear path to follow instead of wondering about how you should learn the language or what to do next. Just follow the pathway, take the lessons and complete the assessments from lesson one to two to three and from the absolute beginner level up to advanced. Now let's talk about the lessons themselves. Second, you learn the language fast with audio and video lessons, which means you won't be reading walls of text here. Our audio and video lessons are easy to finish and allow you to absorb the language as you listen or watch. Plus, you get exposed to native speech, something you won't get in textbooks. So press play on a lesson. You'll learn a practical conversation, get every word and grammar rule explained by our teachers, and start speaking in minutes. All of this takes minutes because lessons are just a few minutes long, so you can learn fast and in small blocks of time, whether on your computer or with our app if you're on the go. The lessons alone are enough to get you speaking, but to make sure you practice and retain the language, you can use our study tools. Third, you get 15 plus premium study tools that lock the language into your memory and help you learn faster. Here's a small taste of what you can do. You can practice speaking and perfect your pronunciation with the voice recorder, reach conversational fluency with our 2000 most common words list, Master words and phrases fast with our spaced repetition flashcards. 
Read along with the lesson notes to help the grammar rules sink in faster. Understand everything instantly with the translations. Sharpen your listening skills with the line-by-line -line audio for each lesson. Immerse yourself in native conversations with the dialogue tracks. Test yourself on what you've learned with assessments, and much more. So if you want to learn your target language, and if you don't have access to our learning program, then sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account, and you'll get a free 7-day trial to our premium plan.